All right, guys, we got this. Let's go. Good white trips. Eat. Close next go. On one. On one. Ready? Three. What's going on, everyone? Incap24 here from Huddle.gg. Today's video, we're going to talk about a cover three concept where you can bomb your opponent by using a couple different pull routes. Now, I'm going to show you two different examples. One's going to be a tight end trail. The other is going to be a running back uh, Texas route. This is something that we did go over last year. It's not a new concept for me, but it is something that I've only shown once on YouTube. It's something I think that you guys can all benefit from depending on what type of formations you're using. Now this will be a little bit of a longer video because I want to show you several different examples of how you can use this concept, go through your playbook and show you how um, basically these type of concepts can be duplicated to basically whatever type of formation you're using, right? So let's start off with cover three sky and I'm going to call this play called single back wing slot PA boot. This is out of the Colts playbook, all these examples. And I did flip the play because I am using a left-handed quarterback and I'm going to have him roll out. I do like these rollouts. So what you want is you want a trail route to start on the wide side and go towards the short side. So for this example, I'm just gonna take um, Davis, I'm gonna move him over here, I'm gonna put him on a trail route, okay? What he's gonna do is he's gonna to go to the left side of the field and stop past the 10 yard mark and basically um, past the numbers in that area where the uh, left side corner recognizes him. We wanna put the X on a streak, and then the B is gonna be a player that we're gonna use a, um, a certain style post route where it's not gonna be one of those really tall posts. It's gonna be one that has a little bit of a flatter post like on this um, example, where he's gonna get underneath the safety and over there quicker to the left-hand side. Now this A is a variable. I'm gonna block him for the first example, just so that we have extra time and it's only three routes that you're gonna see that were, is needed. If you wanna put him on a route, it's literally just for the a decoy. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this. We're going to hike the ball. I like the um, ability to roll out here. And you can see that the B is going to get open over the top. And you're going to be able to get this easy one place score. Now let me go ahead and show you what's happening here, why it works, and why this is designed the way it is from a programming standpoint. Okay, what you'll see here is that if you look at this left player, right, we're just going to look at him. He's going to go and then he's going to go and he's going to jump down. Watch when he jumps down, okay. Right here, he jumps down, okay? What he's doing is he's going after this tight end, okay? Now, the reason why this works is look where the tight end is. If you look and just say, hey, this is the vision of the, the, the outside third. This is his responsibility. Let me just get the camera angle so you can see it, right? So in this camera angle right now is the outside third's responsibility. He's not gonna look at anything else, right? That just, it's actually should be like this, right? And what he's gonna see is once a threat that goes past 10 yards stops, it's the only threat. He doesn't care about anybody else because there's nobody in here. That's the reason why when you do play design, you have to worry about the timing of routes in and out of players' responsibility. That's what I've done for years and why I cook up some of these dots that you have no idea why. It, it, it's about understanding grid systems and all this, right? That guy's going to come down. And once he comes down, you're going to see that that player's not even remotely close to him. And that's gonna get this guy to come down over here. You can see that once he does, you have that ability to go over the top and you get yourself an easy bomb, right? So that's the concept, right? I'll show you one more time with this play and then we're gonna to go to the next play and just kind of go through it, right? And the reason why I'm doing it with this play again is because I wanna show you that um, the A is basically, like I said, a free player. I'm gonna put him on a drag. You don't want him to go up the field because you don't want him to really do anything to affect that cornerback's reaction, right? So now I'm just doing it to where he's a, a distraction. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna to try to, you know, stay in the pocket a little bit so we can just kind of minimize the ability for them to get us. Easy catch. We got ourselves the one place score, okay? So let's go to the next example. So now the next example, we're gonna talk about single back ace, the PA tight end post, okay? So uh, what we'll do here, is we're going to take the um, A tight end, put him on the trail, right? Then we're going to take this X, we're going to move him over and put him on a streak. And you can see that we're basically forming the same type of route combination on the right-hand side. And then the Y, basically, again, we just have to put him on anything we want um, in order to make sure that he is going to the right side, right? Now, if I do it like this, you're going to have that same type of result. This guy's going to come over here. He's going to hold the player. Once he holds the player, the B is going to get open over the top easy play and you got yourself the one play score, right? So you could do it a couple different ways here. You can do it the opposite way where you put the tight end in motion, right? So say you put this tight end in motion, put him there, put the X on a slant just to kind of change it up a little bit. 
and you're going to get the same results, right? The only thing different is, is that you might get those tight ends that kind of crash into each other, which might affect it. But you can see here that we still got that same ability, got ourselves the one play score, and we're good to go on the single back ace version of this concept. So I'm gonna show you one more example for the tight end trail. This time I wanna do it out of gun. And I'm gonna do it out of a formation called gun wing slot offset, where if you look at the smash plate, we don't actually have a post. And I wanna show you this because a lot of times these corner routes from the slot receivers make for excellent posts when you motion them over because of the way that they don't have that really far up field um, stem to where when they make that cut, it's a little bit more flat, right? So we're gonna do the same exact thing that we were doing before, right? Where we've got the same type of route combination. And you're gonna see here that you're gonna have that ability if you can kind of buy a little bit more time in the pocket where the Y is gonna get open, you're gonna be able to catch this ball and get yourself that big yards. So sometimes you just gotta think a little bit out of the box in order to make it work. So now let's go ahead and talk about the running back Texas route. And I'm gonna show you a couple different examples here where one is gonna be under single back to where the um, running back is directly behind the quarterback. And then I'm gonna do it at a shotgun where he's obviously offset, right? So let's go ahead and do this here. I'm gonna do this at a mesh spot out of the swing slot. It's got that same angle. Put the Y on that um, Texas route, right? Now, all we gotta do here is put the X on a streak and then the guys in the left are optional, right? Whatever you wanna do with those guys, right? So if I wanna go ahead and say, I wanna block um, you know, Gronkowski here, and then I want to take the RB and put him, you know, let's just put him on a post route. He's going to go that way with that, right? So you can see here that the Y does a good job when it goes to the left to hold that player. And you can see here that we've got the ability to throw that same type of play and get over the top. Now, let me show you that um, cornerback on the left because it's the same exact concept, right? The concept is that the player is going to get to the left side before the post and he's going to stop in his area, right? If you look over here, we're just looking at the running back and the cornerback. This guy's going to stop in his area and basically take him and you can see how he does it and he's good to go. Now on this example, because the guy came from the middle, he went over here and he took that corner with him. He does eventually stop, but if you're in shotgun, he'll stop a little bit closer, right? So see how he's stopping right there and you can see that we open that up really, really easily for the ball, right? So it's just a way that it's gonna work in this regard. And I'll go do it one more time here. You could do a lot of different things with this, right? Say you wanna take this um, Gronkowski and basically block him. And you wanna move this guy over as a decoy this way, right? And you kind of hike this ball over here. You can see that you can get that same result. All we're gonna do here is, you know, basically get those guys to kind of uh, pinch down and have a bomb. And all we're doing is trying to get a decoy on the uh, user right there. So the last example I'm going to show you here is going to be out of a trips tight end offset. So like a trips tight end type look. I'm going to flip it because I have a left-handed quarterback and I've been doing flipping off the left hash the entire time. And I want to show you a little bit of a different way. Okay, so I'm going to just block the tight end. And remember, we have to have the Texas route go towards the um, cornerback we want to attack. So I'm going to motion to the right. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this is because the Y is a really nice route as well that can do this. And I'm going to put the X, instead of on a streak like we've been doing it, I'm going to put them on a flat. And the reason why I'm doing the flat is because I want to make sure that I show you that the Y and the B are routes that can do it. Because the B can now act as the umbrella of making sure that that, strong, um, that safety in the, in the back stays deep enough to where the Y can get open. So just this type of route combination, right? You see that the RB is going to be our guy that's going to go over to the left. You see how Y is going to get open here. And we're going to be able to throw this ball over the top for the big play for the easy one play score. So what I really wanted to do in this video, guys, is show you a concept, right? It could be a trail route, it could be a Texas route, how to isolate the corner, how to get that player to the left side of the field here before the post reaches his area in order to pull him down for the bomb. Wanted to show you, you could do it out of single back, I'd show you how to do it under center, how to do it out of um, shotgun, you know, basically really give you the opportunity to understand how you design plays in order to make them work using a concept and going through your playbook and saying, hey, this is what you need to do to kind of get these things to work. So hopefully that really, you know, enlightened you a little bit of how I go through some of the steps to kind of see I got one thing. How can I make other plays and other formations work? If you found this useful, guys, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Really trying to grow this channel, do our best to give you guys the best tips possible from a free standpoint to where you guys can go ahead and use that, build the box. And if you guys want more content, you know, we have that on our website um, in order to kind of build this in a scheme and how you can kind of build plays around it. We appreciate you guys and we'll catch you on tomorrow's video.